What's going on, brothers and sisters, Melanated Gods of Earth? I'm your host, Ramudisa the High King. If you're new, consider smashing the subscribe, the like. Let the algorithm know what it is. Let other like minded souls know that we're out here. In a previous video, I talked about us as Africans est establishing a strict order between our mineral resources and all mankind. Period, point blank. No more outsiders. Why? Because the neocolonizer says going green without Africa is impossible. And they're coming for us, people. They're coming for us. Here we have a beneficiary of invasion, colonialism, apartheid, 400 years of genocide and resource exclusion, monopolization, Elon Musk, reportedly in talks with Zimbabwean president over lithium mines. This guy is facing scandals across the Congo basin or knowingly supporting in illegal mining activities and child labor and all that along with all the tech companies of the west that's why when they say that um every phone today probably has mineral resources from africa so when i use my technology i use it consciously knowing that no there are kids in the congo and other parts of africa and in south africa specific owned by mines by people like the that by the likes of elon musk and that entire cluster of beneficiaries of colonialism and here we go he is continuing to try and exploit our continent while we as africans are trying to rise and bring ourselves out of our dark age brought upon us by his people and they are won't let up for greed they are declaring war on us the youth of this continent that's what i did side that this is let's get into today's video from africa diaspora news channel sunny bonani unjani makadi hello everyone welcome back to another broadcast of the african what's diaspora going on sister channel with me your host maritawana sitole imali and if you're just joining us for the first time you're most definitely welcome please do not hesitate to like share subscribe and of course hit that notification bell for more content now u.s billionaire based elon musk has reportedly shown interest in zimbabwe's lithium mining company or mining irritating industry, with a ruling party zanu pf spokesperson christopher muchango revealing talks mm, stated mm, that revealing mm. talks are already under in mind this place like they don't have to live here that's one of the things that irritates me you can tell way between him and President Emerson Mnangagwa. Now, the South African-born head of technology giant Tesla was said to have made overtures that had been responded to by Mnangagwa in what could be a massive win for the financially strapped country of Zimbabwe. Now, Musk is the founding chief executive officer of Tesla, a clean energy company specializing in the manufacture of electric vehicles, solar, and other off-grid technologies. With Zimbabwe increasingly identifying new deposits of the new white gold interest in its mining ventures has been wide, with particular interest from China, uh, which houses major players in lithium battery manufacturing. Now, speaking to journalists at the ruling party ZANU-PF's routine press conference, Christopher Mch Why are we as Africans not looking to each other? It's so frustrating. People. How many countries are there on this continent? How many of us have the skill sets now to help each other out in this newfound age? We are discovering resources left, right, and center, and the fiends from outside are coming through. It's irritating. Now, I will go to a point where I'm no longer blaming um, our leaders. I mean, they're desperate, like she said. Zimbabwe is a cash-strapped country. They've been sanctioned into oblivion. Lords have mercy. But can we please start looking to each other for support? Before you go to China and America, maybe you holla some folks in Barbados. I'm sure there are some black companies out there who can do some stuff. Huh? Tangwa stated that Musk's move to scoff at those used Musk's move to scoff at those he actually had claimed had wished Zimbabwe remained a pariah state. 
Mm. And I quote, the latest billionaire to show interest in our lithium is none other than Tesla boss Elon Musk. Uh, he has made overtures to our president and our president has sent a message to him that if he wants to come to invest in Zimbabwe, it is open season after all. He is oh, my South God. Region and he is originally South African. Ah, dude, you see, there's a generation of colonization that happens there. We will quickly allow a non-African person, beneficiary of colonialism, to just get things equal to the black man and black woman. When I said in the previous video that there are clear boundaries that we must establish because our people will continue to suffer resource exclusion. This man has been deep in beneficiary of land dispossession of blacks. His father was a mining giant or something like that, I think. He wasn't born rich. I mean, he was born rich, this boy. He didn't make himself rich. He didn't make himself rich. He was born rich because of colonialism and apartheid. And here he is now trying to come through, benefiting on the fact that he was born in South Africa. While the blacks of our country and regions remain in poverty. Now, and I quote, he... And the blacks all across the Congo region. He wants to be part of this revolution. He has wider interests too. He is Africana and we have had... Ah, it's Dutch, bro. There's no such thing as an... Listen... I'll make a video about that another day, not today. Kind of farmers. He wants all issues about Zimbabwe's land reform settled. He wants hmm. peace and prosperity for the region. Those who had thought that Zimbabwe will remain a pariah state have been disappointed. It has changed completely and it is now a favorite destination. Close quote. Now, Musk's interest had been interpreted as the culmination of Nangaga's re-engagement strategy. It was coined soon after his ascendancy with hope that Zimbabwe could be readmitted into the international community after decades of so much isolation. Now, already a Chinese billionaire also, whose name was not shared, is also reportedly interested in lithium producing Zulu mine, which is located about 80 kilometers from Blauayo, which is the second biggest city in Zimbabwe. And I quote again. It really frustrates me that these outsiders are looking to Africa for their resources. It sickens me. As if there are no Africans who are building businesses. I'm running a business right now. It's a struggle, but it is what it is. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that thing, family. But the Elon Musk's, to me, are an act of war. This behavior, let's just go to Africa with our, man, with our money and the people will be grateful that we're investing. And us constantly looking to outsiders for investment. These are movers and shakers. They make the world go round. Oh, uh, they brought it to where it is today in capitalism. Millionaires are coming to Zimbabwe as a result of goodwill by Mnangagwa. And it's a good thing, close quote. And with Zimbabwe's recording the highest number of projects under exploration, experts have estimated that Zimbabwe could meet 20% of global lithium. In other words, they're going to rip the hell out of Zimbabwe's natural resources. They're going to mine it, causing pits everywhere. Lords have mercy. The outsider doesn't see Africa the way the Africans should see it. This is war. If you do have an opinion about the story, you can, of course, please do uh, share your opinion on the comment section. And you can also find us as well on Facebook, Twitter. I'm making a video about my opinion. Instagram and TikTok at African Diaspora News. You can also find me, Mari Tawana, on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Mari Tawana ZW. That is Mari Tawana ZW. From me and the team, it's bye for now. And I'll definitely see you in another podcast. Cheers. Thank you, sister. But let's get into some Elon Musk ranting real quick. Have an opinion about the story? You can very easy. Good rule by Mnangagwa, and it's a good thing. Close quote. And with Zimbabwe is recording the highest number of projects under exploration, experts have estimated that Zimbabwe could meet twenty percent of global lithium demand. So no, really, that Zimbabwe we're supposed to feed. Teslas and all the businesses of the world, resources, while Africans are still struggling. And these businesses think that they're going to just come here and flash a bunch of money and that's it. What about us? What about what we're up to over here as Africans? I say we as a people need stronger and clear boundaries. The youth must send a stronger message. 
We are building businesses. We are developing technology. We will explore Africa for ourselves. We are not going to sustain Australia. We are not going to sustain Europe. We are not going to sustain America. Our people must come first. Africa for Afros. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay royal. Peace.